Hello, hello, friends. Greetings. It's Mari Smith coming to you from a rainy San Diego, and I want to talk to you about professional mode, professional mode for your Facebook personal profile. What exactly is it? Should you make the switch? Does it make any sense? If you have an active business page, should you also convert your personal profile into professional mode? What changes? What are the pros? What are the cons? Um, and why is Meta pushing this format? So Mari to the rescue. I got answers. I got answers. <laughs> so let's dive in and we'll walk through some of the basics of what exactly is professional mode, why you might want to enable it and why you might want to not enable it. Okay, friends. And like I say, who exactly is it for? So just right out of the gate, welcome, welcome, welcome in. I'm happy you're here. If you're catching the replay, that's no problem. But uh, if you're here live, hello, greetings. I'm happy you're here. We're going to jump over to share my desktop and I'm going to walk through the basics of this professional mode. Let me know in the comments, if you're just tuning in, I would love to hear from you. If you have enabled professional mode, all right, let me know in the chat. Have you enabled professional mode? We're not talking about meta verified, the blue check and everything. That's totally different. We're talking about professional mode, all right, professional mode on your personal profile. Let me know in your comments. Uh, in the comment, if you've turned it on, or if you haven't turned it on, if you're still on classic, if whether you have access or not, I'm curious if folks who would like to turn it on, maybe you don't have access yet. And if you, um, if you plan to turn it on. Okay. Paula, interesting. She's saying she disabled it. So it sounded like you had it, you had it and you, you disabled it. Chrissy, you're saying you're, you bet. Yeah. I just, I see, keep seeing it coming up on my radar and it's like, it's such a big topic. So uh, let's dive right in. All right. So first of all, you might not realize this, but Facebook or Meta, we have to call them Meta. Meta is the parent company, right? To be clear, Meta owns, is Meta Platforms Inc. owns Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp. Okay. Used, it was confusing before because Facebook Inc. owned Facebook, the app. And so now we distinguish it, right? Meta owns the whole family. All right, so let's see that date, December of 2021, that's well over a year that they first introduced this. And what it was is specifically for creators. Now, here's the thing, friends, I don't know about you, but it seems to me that Meta is basically thinking anybody under the sun is a creator and can be a creator. As long as you're producing content and publishing it on your page or your profile, you're a creator. <laughs> the very loose definition. You create content, you're a creator. So it seems with, uh, with meta. Okay. So we want creators to reach their full potential on Facebook. And that means giving you ways, listen up, giving you ways to earn money and providing insights. So you can understand what types of posts resonate with your community. Until now, these tools were only available in pages. So right out the gate, we know that professional mode on personal profiles are functioning very much like a page. Now they're also saying here, we know that create many creators, especially those who are just starting out are on profiles, right? Personal profiles. So we're introducing a professional mode for profiles. And they're saying in the U S I believe it's worldwide. Now I'm pretty sure almost all countries have professional mode now eligible. See eligible. You still have to be eligible for unlocking revenue opportunities and gain access to tools to help grow your audience. Now, here's the thing, and I included this in my talk last week at Social Media Marketing World. I get frustrated with this constant push for everybody to monetize their content. What I want to help you do is monetize your business, your offerings, your services, your products, whether you're B2C or B2B, you're here to grow your own business. You're not here to grow Meta's business. You're not necessarily here to just produce content and then hope and pray that you'll get enough views on your content. Usually it's reels, although they've paused the reels play bonus program in the U S and I don't know if they're going to bring it back. It's not just meta. There's a lot of changing of the way that monetization is paid out to creators on YouTube, on TikTok, And so the whole premise is we're going to be, Meta is going to be looking at 
bringing in an ad revenue share on your personal profile if you switch to professional mode. You're going to have to crank out a lot of content to really see any kind of monetization from Manta on your personal profile. Okay. So I know because I kind of speak to two different audiences. I've got my main mm, business audience or entrepreneurs, small business owners, some agencies, some brands. And then we've got the other audience, which is a very, very small percent, which are the folks out there who really are creators in the sense that they're main source of revenue comes from third party payouts. So YouTube rev share, Meta rev share, maybe some from TikTok. So unless you produce boatloads of content and get lots of views, you're not getting paid. Whereas the, all the other 95% of business folks are, are getting paid by, you know, selling your business offerings, right? Your products and your services. So so that was the main announcement there. Uh, I won't go too far down the rabbit hole here. As I say, this is from December 21. Now I've got a number of tabs open for you just to kind of like give us little updates here. The, they're talking about building a presence and expanding your community. So creators on both profiles and pages can access professional tools, right? So they're basically saying, look, they're kind of one and the same. The one thing you can't access on a professional mode profile that you can on a page, two things really. One is actual ads manager. And the two is like having um, multiple roles, right? If you want multiple people to be an admin on your professional mode, personal profile, that's not available. Professional tools, blah, 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 to see how to get started. You know, I'll, I'll pop that in the chat here if anybody wants to take a peek at that. But let me jump forward and just say how to turn it on. All you're going to do, you can go desktop or mobile. I think that's my profile. No, I'm going to come back to that. Here's my profile. Desktop or mobile, you're just going to tap on the three dots. Okay. This can be done on desktop or mobile. Oopsie daisies. I have to come down here and let me just move my camera. My bad. Uh, unlock that scene. It's so funny when I set this up, it's like, it's correct. But then I, I don't like it. My camera is covering up something important. So three dots right there, huh? Just under your edit profile. Click that little guy. And you'll see, turn on professional mode. If you do not see turn on professional mode on desktop or mobile, you don't have access yet. Okay. But if you do see it, click that. And here is where it doesn't get more simpler than this. You can get paid for your content. In other words, it's not Reels Play bonus program because that's on pause. Okay, Meta, Facebook, what is it? Oh, it's subscriptions. Well, what if you don't want to offer subscriptions? Okay, what is it then? It's uh, ad revenue share. Well, that's kind of coming down the road. Oh, it's star, stars. Maybe you'll make five bucks a month and you'll be able to treat yourself to a Starbucks coffee or whatever you drink with the money you make from your stars. <laughs> Assuming you're going live and doing videos and you've got plenty of options. You can say, as you can see, I'm not terribly bullish on professional mode at the moment. I tried it last year for six months. I'll share more about that in a moment. Facebook does say here, you can grow your audience. Now listen to this. It's all about the phrasing of these things. This is really annoys me because they're saying your profile's follower setting will be set to public. Well, guess what? You can do that already. You do not have to switch to professional mode to enable public. Anybody can follow you, right? That's how you can have friends and followers. You might have that disabled. You might want to check your settings and see if you have enabled followers. And um, I would recommend absolutely enabling followers, whether you turn on professional mode or not. Right? So then really important to know that you can still share privately to friends. Now, here's a thing that I personally would like to see is an option that's never been introduced, but that's the ability to share to public, but suppress friends and family, and maybe a list, right? You make a specific list. You don't want to bug your mom and your sister and your kids and your whatever, right? People you went to school with and I don't know, colleagues, close personal friends, extended family. It's like, oh my God, if I switch to professional mode and I'm all I'm going to talk about is business and business content, won't I alienate my friends and my family? Yeah, you might. You might. And so that's something I'll share about in a minute. I'm going to give you an example too. Um, so then 
if you want to see them, the content insights, I do miss that because when I switched back to classic, you know, you don't get it anymore, but I did enjoy seeing the insights about my audience and the reach. You see the reach stats on every post. So here's what happened when I made the switch last year, the beginning of last year, right away out the gate, the first post I made with a professional mode, bam, the reach shot right up off the charts, higher than I'd seen in a long time. I'm like, dang, this thing works, cool. And then over time, about six months, do, 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 it slowly tapered off and the reach wasn't so great anymore. And then I was in a conversation in my social scoop group, one of our members there, Brian, and he had mentioned, you know what, I, I, I'm sticking with classic. I'm getting way more reach on classic. And I'm like, I'm going to switch back. I'm going to give it a try. Switch back to classic after six months of being in professional mode. Bam. First post I make massive reach, a big spike in reach again. And now it's okay. It's decent. It's just average. It's normal. It's kind of normalish. And frankly, for me personally, I don't give two hoots about monetizing my content. I'm not sitting here waiting with my hand out for Meta to give me a payout. If I make a few bucks here, a few hundred there, a few hundred there, whatever, yep, it just goes all into the kitty. Thank you very much. A little icing on the cake. But that is not ever going to be my personal mainstay. It might be for you, and I'm not knocking that. I just want to make sure that we're really kind of eyes wide open and recognizing, wait, why is Meta doing this? Why is Meta, after 19 years, well, then in 2018 when they first rolled it out, right, telling us we can't use our personal profiles for, quote, commercial gain, but now all of a sudden they're saying, look at this, friends. When you decide to turn on professional mode, this little small print, you can turn it off anytime, but when you select turn on, you agree to Meta's commercial terms. So, uh, let's see, I had those up. Yeah, right here. These are Meta's, no, that's not it, Murray. Yeah, here it is. Just in case anybody wants to read it. <laughs> and that line, that line about, um, not using your profile for commercial gain is gone. It is not in here. Uh, the commercial terms you agree to when switching to pro, I'll just call it pro mode. There you go. Pop that right there. So you've got it. Okay. So obviously not going to go through all of that, but you, you might want to just skim through it. Okay, friends. So that's what you agree to. If you decide you're going to turn it on and that's fine. Now let's go through and we'll look at Facebook's own. This is a really good page to know. Should I turn on professional mode on my profile or create a page on Facebook? Hi, Renee. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to put your comment up in a second. I'm going to pop this in here for you, friends. This is a really good URL to have. And I'm just going to address Renee's comment. <laughs> They're kicking to try to stay afloat. Yeah, they are pulling out, they being meta, are in essence, from what we can all just interpret and read between the lines is absolutely pulling out all the stops and trying everything and anything to get more eyeballs, more time on site. Facebook, meta, the whole family, right? Facebook and Instagram are the primary ones. Obviously you got WhatsApp and Messenger, although Messenger's coming back in, right? Folks know that Messenger's coming apparently coming back in to the main Facebook app or baking it back in after seven years of breaking it off. Crikey. Oh, and there's a whole other story about that. Just real quick. It's because a billion reels a day, 1 billion reels a day are shared in private messages on Instagram alone. So Meta, Facebook, they want to make it real easy and super fast and seamless for users to share content privately without having to, you know, switch back and forth between the apps. That's the main driver of bringing Messenger back into the Facebook app. And why? Because that's how TikTok works. Anything TikTok does, you know, Meta's going to copy. So anyway, back to this little one here. This is really helpful to understand. Should you turn on professional mode on your profile or, it's really interesting their wording. I always pay attention to their wording, right? Or create a page. Both professional mode on your profile and a page can help you promote a public brand. Hello, promote a public brand, get followers to build a global community and earn money as a creator on Facebook, meaning payouts on however they pay you on your content. 
ad rev share, star subscriptions. Maybe they'll come back with some bonus on reels. Who knows? Professional mode allows you to build a public presence as a creator and maintain your personal friends and family experience from one place on Facebook, your profile, right? Pages are separate from Facebook profiles and can help businesses, public figures, brands, organizations, and nonprofits connect with their fans or customers. So that's the big difference right there that they're really clearly stating. Look, this is a, we usually call it business page. You can just call it public page, public page. And, and a public page can be in any name, whereas your personal profile has to be in your given name. To determine if you should, should turn on professional mode on your personal profile or create a new page, answer the following questions. So I know it's a lot of text on the screen and I'm reading it kind of fast, but I want to make sure I get through this for you because uh, it's really important information and I've popped that uh, link in there for you as well. So this is just really helps you make a much more informed decision as opposed to caving to Meta's pressure and or caving to quote peer pressure. Okay. I'm just fresh off the stage last week of speaking at social media marketing world. My good friend, Mike Stelzner, who I absolutely adore and admire and respect. Awesome friend of mine and colleague, business colleague since 2008. And he included this uh, big promotion in his opening keynote on Tuesday morning about professional mode and encouraging that even if you're a brand or an agency, like you're a business business, what if you had some of your team members go ahead and turn on professional mode on their profile and help you get more exposure? I'm not a fan of that. Personally, no, I would never ask someone on my team, hey, could you turn on professional mode to help get more exposure for the business? What if they're like, have it really locked down and they don't even allow people to follow them. They just have it friends and family. Well, obviously you're gonna honor that, right? In any case, let's jump back into this, this uh, text here. Number one, the only two questions. Number one, do you want to build a public presence for yourself as an individual, an entity, meaning a business, an organization, a product, or something else, a pet or a pseudonym? So if it's an individual, go to question two. If it's an entity, business, or something else, pet, pseudonym, that has to be a page. And the big difference between this question one is that, or not between, but the, the big distinction here is that personal profiles have to be, uh, let me zoom that in, I'm gonna zoom it just for a little bit more for you guys. Has to be in the name of your, your name, your first and your, your real first, your real last name. That's why they're saying, look, if it's an entity, you gotta do a page. So we jump down to two, you're saying, no, nope, individual, me, myself and I, my first and last name, Everybody here already has a personal profile, of course. But now they're saying, do you want to create your public presence from the same profile that you use to connect with friends and family? Yeah, sure, Manta. Great. Turn on professional mode, right? If you're saying, no, whoa, whoa, wait, like that scenario I just gave you, if like a company is turning around to employees and saying, hey, could you turn professional mode on to help us get more exposure for the business? And that employee saying, no. Oh, I want to keep my friends and families separate, then that's the big difference there. Because there's no way to just, there's no way to publish, as I mentioned earlier, it's kind of been on my wish list for many years. If Facebook would give us the ability to publish content to public, but not friends and family. Even if like they could see it, not like you would suppress it that it's invisible, but like you could say, don't put it in the feed, right? Like the, there's there's that ability is in Meta Business Suite, and certainly was in Creator Studio, Bye Bye Creator Studio, it's now Meta Business Suite, but where you could see that newsfeed distribution, right? So it's like, I don't want this to be distributed in the newsfeed of my friends and family, but I do want it to all my followers, right? Wouldn't that be a great, why didn't they think of this? They should consult with us all. We need a think tank and just, they don't listen to us. I don't, they do whatever they want. They do whatever Zuck wants. <laughs> so now let's come down to this little table because it's really helpful. I might have to zoom it back there one time. So here's a use case comparison. Professional mode and pages offer similar professional tools and monetization opportunities, but the two products have very different use cases. So the identity and purpose of a profile in professional mode represents the person the person behind the account using the same name that you go by with friends and family. 
versus with the page, it represents an identity, right? A business, organization, pseudonym product. It isn't, isn't necessarily, in my case, I, you know, my page is under the name of Mari Smith, but it, you know, many, many people have, uh, or organizations, of course, it's under the name of their brand, their business, whatever. But in back to the pro mode, if you're the purpose of having pro mode, you're building a public brand, public brand, right? Business and community for yourself using the same profile you use to connect with friends and family. We just read that up there earlier. Uh, whereas with the page, you're building this public brand and you want it separate, separate from your personal profile. Let's come down to the connections one. Per professional mode, this first column is professional mode. You want to build a public presence and maintain your friends and family experience. You, they keep repeating that, right? Sorry to keep repeating it. Uh, you can post to a public audience or friends only. That's the good news, by the way, to know, to understand that you can absolutely still publish content to friends only and friends less. Whereas with a page, it's like everybody who knows it's obviously all public. You're engaging with people that follow your page and other pages and so on. And pages cannot have friends. Access management, another really critical thing to consider if you're thinking about making the switch. Obviously for you, with your professional mode, personal profile, you only have one login. One username, one password, one admin. It's you, you, yourself, and you. <laughs> Obviously with a page, you've got roles. Now, some examples. Professional mode. A creator wants to build a public brand and global community using the same profile. They keep repeating that. I'm sorry, people. I keep reading this. Whereas, yeah, everybody knows. Maybe the individual wants to keep it separate or a public figure wants to wants, want, want a team. If you want a team to manage your social presence, you have to do that on a page because you can't, you're not supposed to share logins anyway, so on and so forth. Now, um, this note is really important down the bottom here, friends. While professional mode and pages both offer similar professional tools and monetization opportunities, professional mode does not support admin management tools like those roles or integration with Meta Business Suite. Now, in one of the other tabs I have open, I read, maybe it's in the FAQ, FAQs, that the wording, remember I always pay attention to the wording that Meta uses, Meta, Meta slash Facebook slash Zuckerberg. Every word is always carefully chosen. That it said currently, currently professional mode is not supported by Meta Business Suite. Mari's crystal ball, I have one over there, <laughs> is I am absolutely forecasting, predicting, educated guessing that we will see full on ads manager access to professional mode profiles and integration with Meta Business Suite. And eventually when they really get their act together with AI, I mean, a generative AI, they've, you know, Meta's integrated AI for, for since the beginning, algorithms controlled by AI. So funny how people think that AI didn't exist until chat GPT came on the scenes in November last year. It's like, hello, AI has been around since the 1950s, <laughs> 60s and 70s for sure. But in any case, um, what I'm predicting is that we will see AI baked right into Meta Business Suite, generative AI, so that people will be able to sit down at your desk, your phone, whatever, laptop, punch in some prompts, spit out either written image or video content, publish right away or schedule it, and off you go, you know? Eventually, It'll take a while to get there, but that's what I'm, I'm thinking and feeling. Let's cover a couple more of these open tabs that I have just to really underscore this. And if you've got questions, I'm happy to take them. So this is just about professional mode on personal profiles. Professional mode, yep, for profiles. Um, when you turn on professional mode, you can build a public presence. Yeah, we just said that. Uh, what did I want to see? Yeah, in professional mode, you have access to a bundle. It cracks me up, a bundle. Wait a minute. All you can see is audience insights. It breaks down uh, gender, age, country of your audience, of people that follow you. And it gives you insights insofar as it's very similar to your page where you'll see reach, reach um, metrics on each post. Um, and then there's some enhanced safety features. I'll show you what they are in a moment. They're not that impressive. It's like, whatever. I shouldn't say whatever. Cause some people that are, you're getting some challenges in the comments that allows you to like turn commenting off or put on like, you know, keyword, um, triggers so that it doesn't not triggers, but you know, keyword blocking and then monetization. Hello. See if you're eligible, 
And right now with Meta pausing the Reels Play bonus program, I don't think the professional mode is anywhere near as, as attractive to enable for some for some people anyway. But we'll see. Maybe you'll be eligible for the ad revenue share. Okay, so mm, you'll get followers, which you can already do now anyway. You don't have to t turn on professional mode to have people follow you. The one thing you get as interesting is profile category. And that's the one way to distinguish right away. Even when you hover over, you know, the little hover card, if you see somebody in a group or making a comment, you hover over it and it, and it pops up the little hover card. You can see right away if somebody has made the switch to professional mode, because it will say profile colon, you know, creator or entrepreneur, or whatever public figure, whatever the categories are, you can change the category too. There's your professional dashboard. It's just basically insights. Um, now this is interesting because they're saying creator support. If you're eligible, you can get help from Facebook support. Yeah, big underscore and eligible. I wonder if they want to take that out now that Meta Verified. Now, wait a minute. Oopsie, we didn't mean to put that there. If you're paying for Meta Verified, then you can get direct access. Who knows? And then that means to get discovered. It may be. They're not coming right out and saying it, but it may be that your personal profile switch to professional mode has a tiny bit more percent chance of having your content recommended and showing up. You know that thing that says people you may know, is that little module that people you may know? Maybe you'll show up there more, okay? So that's a possibility. Um, let's see, any questions or comments before I continue on with other things? Lori's saying again, the answer is no for now. Yeah, no, no better meta business suite integration for professional mode, dot, dot, dot. Mari says, yet. I think it's going to be coming. Um, Evie, hello, love. You're saying that your reach has increased since you switched. Now, here's the big qualifier. I'm curious, Evie, if you're publishing more reels, are you publishing reels more often since you made the switch or, or just recently? Because that's a big factor. I see that Facebook is giving priority to professional mode profiles that are really doubling down on reels. Okay, Nancy, hello, love. You're saying it's been, you've been enjoying professional mode. It feels like it has, you have better reach and you really enjoy the insights. Yeah, same here. I, I did enjoy them when I had them. And so Evie's confirming, yes, yeah, she is publishing a bit more on the real side of it. Uh-huh, yep, very good. I know, Cassie, amen to that. They just need to stay Facebook and stop trying to copy TikTok or be like TikTok. TikTok. I wish they would just really innovate, like come out with the most unbelievable innovation that nobody's ever thought of before. Of course, they did pioneer the news feed. That was their baby, I guess. Well, they probably stole it from somewhere, but I mean, got the idea, got inspiration. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, wow. Okay, Deborah, that's going to be a big comment, but I'll put you up right here. So Deborah's saying she just went live in her membership group of this very topic. They were wondering if they should, quote, dump their existing business page to move to running business on personal versus professional. I personally would be very, very cautious about that because you know, all of us here know full well that anytime Meta slash Facebook brings out a new feature, and this is only a year old, but really it's only hit the, the masses, right? The, the, all countries and users relatively recently. And so it's still really quite new. They have a history. Facebook has a history of just ditching a feature like that. I'm not saying they'll just suddenly take professional mode away, but what they could absolutely do is suddenly take the reach away. And this is my concern is that we're just seeing a, a cyclical pattern repeated here. <laughs> just like how they brought out business pages 2008, whenever that was. And we all remember back in the day, we'd get 300% reach, 500% reach, a crazy amounts of organic reach. And then over time, do, 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 slowly comes down. Certainly when the company went public in 2012, um, you know, by 2014, organic reach was way, way down. So my fear is that eventually organic reach will be really, really low because if there's so much competition in the feed, how can everybody get high reach, right? 
Um, and then they'll eventually bring in ads, access to ads manager, and then bringing in, you know, meta business suite before you know it, your profile is functioning exactly like a page and that you'll have to pay to play. Well, that's my prediction. We'll see. But here's the thing. You may as well dive in. If you want to dive right in, dive in right now and just see, see, because there's no harm in that. Like I say, I tried it for six months last year. Uh, Lori saying before you switch, if you switch, use your view as to see what's public and change privacy accordingly. Very, very good tip for uh, for everybody there, Lori and, I, Lori, and I totally agree. Yeah, use the little view as. I'll show folks where you can get that. Um, it's right here on the three dots, right? Three dots, view as. That automatically pushes it to public. So now I can see, okay, all of this is public, you know, come down here, whatever you got going on there. I would go into every section, go into your about, click through every section. Now I'm going to tell you some, something here, friends, that is not obvious at all with professional mode is every single group that you, I can't remember if it's every group that you're in or every group that you manage is um, suddenly publicly visible. You can literally go to anybody's profile that is converted to professional mode and you can see every single group that they're involved in. Now I am going to pull up one as an example for a second here. Let me just see. Hmm. It might be that it's only on mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one second. I just was checking somebody yesterday. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Watch this. Sorry, Mike. I'm putting you in the hot seat. <laughs> you won't mind. Besides everything I'm going to show you is public. All right. Here's, I'm, I'm showing you on mobile just for the heck of it. Cause it's fun to bring my phone up. Here's our good friend, Mike, Mike Selzer. Okay. So what happens, you see how he has 13,000 followers that includes friends. It doesn't break friends out. So it doesn't show, I think it doesn't even show mutual friends anymore. So if we go under the about section. You'll see right away, if you can see there, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but under details, we know that Mike has made the switch to professional mode because it says profile hyphen digital creator, which is the category. And you can change the category. And as you go all of this, you'll, what you'll also see on professional mode is transparency, the exact same session section that we see on business pages. Profile transparency is going to see you when you're going to see when it was created and ding, 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 ding. Does anybody notice what else we see in there? This profile is not currently running ads. That's exact same little module that we see on pages. Now that's for the boost because the boost button is there. The boost button is on professional mode. Maybe everybody doesn't have it yet. I don't know for certain, but that tells me that not only the boost buttons come to everybody on professional mode, but also ads manager. Now here's where we're going to groups So see all if I go see all. Okay. So it's joined and joined. Okay. It's not too bad on Mike. He must've cleaned his cleaned it all up. So these are just ones he's either admin or joined. It seems now, wait a minute. These are the ones, these are, I'm, this is showing me that I've joined. Oh, I'm, I've joined all of these. That's what I'm seeing. I think that the join button is for me. Okay. Interesting. So that's Mike's groups. I have seen it. I know when I switched, that I, oh, there's the friends. It shows you way, way down there. It's buried, it's buried way down there. Events, you know, um, and so that's that. I see also that uh, Mike has, must have, no, I think Mike actually, didn't he have a blue tick already? This is what I, I do not like the whole, this is a whole other conversation, but the meta verified blue tick legacy, anybody with a legacy blue tick on your personal profile or your page and or your page, uh, it is not obvious of which is who's paying, who's paying for it and who's got a legacy. And that ticks me off. I'm going to show you another example here. This is the guy that, uh, Mike was, uh, 
I'll bring them up. I'll show you on mobile as well, just because it's fun. This is a fun example. Um, oopsies, I went to my Chrome. I went to go to, I meant to go to my phone. So Austin, some of you might know Austin Armstrong, wonderful, fun, fun guy. He's a creator. This is a great example of a real digital creator. This guy knows how to crank out content. And he was a fellow speaker at Social Media Marketing World last week. And Mike Stelzer in his opening keynote included a couple of slides talking about Austin and his great success. Look at that. He's got almost 800,000 followers. And he's got his uh, professional mode, of course, turned on there. And, and there was a line that he said. There was a line that he said where um, Mike Stelzner had it up on the big screen saying that Austin literally said, quote unquote, I decided to sacrifice my friends and family for, for his business, for his you know creator profile, whatever. So let's see if I go under about and there's all the... Mm, bio, the details, there's the different groups that I was talking about, you know, follow or join. Those are, the, and that's the button that I'm seeing for me personally. Event. So it's just, everything's all in there. Now, um, you can choose to follow, you know, pages or profiles, uh, as your prof professional mode. Um, I just, it, it, just back to Lori's point there, I would thoroughly go through on potentially mobile and desktop to just see, making sure you're comfortable with everything that's there and you're not exposing any information that you would, would rather not. Um, okay, here, let's jump, jump, jump over to here. Where was I on here? This is about, did I share this part already? I forget. I don't think so. About professional mode. This part about, oh yeah, I think I was partway through it. The get discovered, that's what I, I left off right here. Where I, I, I think the reason that there's so much buzz right now among people like Mike Stelzner, certainly people like Austin, or, or he's doing great, he's monetizing, he has his own business, he's smart, he's a smart strategic marketer. He's not just trying to monetize his content. Um, but my, what I'm seeing is that professional mode does seem to be getting more traction when they're publishing more reels. I, I did see that on, on Mike's account. He he's definitely seems to be doing more reels content. If I scroll down and just check out some of his, what he's been doing recently. A lot of, a lot of, uh, reels. So here's the monetization part, right? And again, they're coming back saying, if you meet the requirements, you can use your profile to earn money on Facebook. They should say earn money you know, get to get paid. It's not like you can't earn money through your own business and talking about your business products, services, etc. You can totally do that. Certainly you can do that in professional mode. They just mean the payouts from them. And so here's the way it adds on Facebook Reels. See this, this section's been updated. They're not talking in here anymore about Reels Play bonus program. So ads on Facebook Reels, in-stream ads and subscriptions, which presupposes that you offer that service. I thought they had stars in there as well. Here's those safety features. So your privacy settings on past posts don't change. You can post to friends only. That's that moderation assist, okay? Uh, actions to automatically prefer, like filter profanity, block keywords, apply rules, or turn off co uh, comments altogether if you wanted to. So that's what they're calling like the safety aspect of it. It's not the same as the meta verified where they're gonna give you extra, um, Protection for impersonation. You got to pay for that, right? Anyway, we'll sip a beverage. What else we got here, friends? Comments, um, questions, anything else? Um, Nancy saying, I found the blocked tagging for professional mode to occur on mobile, but is accessible on desktop. The blocked tagging? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, Lori, that's funny. Good eye. Good eye. That's wild. You're absolutely right. I guess he hasn't he hasn't purchased uh, Meta Verified yet, nor has he somehow gotten eligible for uh, the whatever we want to call it. It's not legacy OG native. <laughs> oh no, Cassie! I'm so sorry to hear that. She's in her blue check blue check page was hacked. 
almost like defeats the purpose, right? I got hacked last year. Well, my business manager, my page and profile didn't get hacked, but my business manager, actually it's two years ago now. Some of you read that post I wrote up about the experience and what to do. Uh, as you're saying, the hacker created a violation. Facebook took your blue check mark away. You never got your page back. Oh my God, you lost money. Yeah. Cassie, I don't know if you saw a post that I made the other day on my page. It was sh sharing, a, I'm calling it a success story, but I, I hesitate to even call it that because it basically someone similar experience to you where they had, um, they had the, their account, uh, ad account, their business account, business manager and ad account was hacked and, um, they got, here it is right here. I'll share my screen again. This gentleman here, um, I'll pull it up like that so you can see it. Mark Bonus, he's out of Australia. He got MetaVerified, because this was back on March 8th. Now MetaVerified is available in the US. But he, he signed up, he got MetaVerified, got it within 24 hours, and then within one hour of requesting support, he got everything reinstated. And he even got an apology from Meta. Now, this could be a complete anomaly because who knows if Meta verified customer support is going to be able to sustain and scale that kind of service. I've also heard from other people that they've heard from a, a Meta verified support person at Meta where they're like, oh no, we can't help you with business issues. This is only for personal, right? Because you can only get Meta verified on the personal profile. But I think it's worth a try, right? For 12 or 14, 15 bucks, whatever it is even just for a few months to just get the service that you need. And in Cassie's case, you know, see if you can get your situation resolved. That'd be worth it. Get your page back. But probably depending on how long ago it was, you might've already, might've already moved on. But I know um, in Mark Bonus's case, he, that was two years, two years that he didn't, didn't get any, anywhere. Um, yeah. Hey, Evie, why? Okay, fascinating. She's saying, she, I believe I can do ads in my profile. Evie, I'd be so curious to know, like, if that, if you can see that you've actually got ads manager or it's like, is it the boost button? If it's the boost button, then that, that's, that's certainly there. And Cassie's confirming it's the boost button. Yeah. Um, oh, Deborah, I see what you're saying. You don't think unless it's changed that you can tag people in groups if you're a professional profile. That's got to be a bug. Tags can be really buggy. You know when you're literally going to reply to somebody's, often the comment, a comment will, but if you're going to reply to someone who's made a post and you're the first person or any person who's making a comment, invariably my team and I find that we can't always tag them. The tags are buggy. They don't always work. Um, Deborah's also asking uh, if you do away with a business page and want to use professional for a business, would, would that impact Instagram shopping and product tags? Hmm. Crikey. Great question. I really don't know the definitive answer to that. I would think you could keep Instagram shopping separate, but I wouldn't ever like do away with your business page. I would just like, if you're choosing, if anybody here is choosing, you're listening to this, you're tuning in here today, are you watching the replay and you're thinking, you know what? I'm going to give this professional mode a whirl. I'm going to, that's worth it to get extra exposure, potentially more reach, more followers, possibly a little icing on the cake, some money from Meta. Then I would not abandon your business page. I would just still keep, keep an active presence. Maybe put just quite a bit more attention in your profile, bigger, bigger, much bigger emphasis on reels because that's what they're wanting, right? They're just all of this in the name of getting the eyeballs to stick to the screens and to compete with TikTok, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly, Lori. Just reading your comment about jumping on, jump on the racks. <laughs> I just got that visual in my brain. You're saying jump on the raft and then slowly letting the air out. Eeks. Hi, Rachel. You're saying, will Meta start to allow us to boost reels? Now the pause. Yeah, and that's what folks are saying here. The boost button is there. So I don't know if you've made the switch, Rachel, but you you will see that you the boost button is there or it's coming. Mm -hmm. Nicole, you've made the switch, obviously. She's saying she has a Nicole King. I have a boost post on your profile. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly, Nancy. Uh, oops, my cursor just jumped, but Nancy's saying the one predictable thing is the changes are constant. They really, really are. Yeah. 
Mm, Cassie's saying I'm publishing more reels because you're in the program. And then it's like they said it was 30 days, right? You have 30 days to basically get, get what's due to you, get what's owed to you. Um, then you said you don't know if you're going to keep your page in professional mode. Yeah, exactly. Or your profile, you mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. Yeah, Anthony, good point. What you do is critical to keep reach going. Key is to mix organic with everything else. Right, exactly. Um, Jerry is saying, but aren't all these the things the reason why you have a business page? I'm confused. I know it's why I wanted to do this live and try to just explain it in plain English is that if you as an individual person are looking to potentially get more reach and like build your public brand and then you can absolutely switch to professional mode, you just don't have the um, integration with Meta Business Suite yet. You don't have full access to Ads Manager. You only have one login. You can't, you're not supposed to share it. You can't assign roles and have other admins. Um, but yeah, I would absolutely wouldn't abandon your page, you know. Yeah, Laura, I'm working my way backwards here. Laura's saying that setting would be awesome. I know you're referring to, to publishing content on your profile to public, but not to friends and family, or at least saying don't distribute it to the newsfeed. It's not like I want to suppress what I'm doing from my friends and family. I just want to clog up their newsfeed. Because, you know, like my mom doesn't have that many friends, uh, and intentionally so. I mean, I mean Facebook friends. Like, like it's not thousands, right? Most of us with family members that are only using Facebook for very specific friends and family purposes, they have a few hundred, right? What is that? Well, the Dunbar 150. I think since Facebook came about, the Dunbar is more like 500, right? The Dunbar 500. <laughs> but most people who use and have more senior, right? Mm, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, uh, more senior, they um, use Facebook Almost, I would say a hundred percent for connecting with friends and family. And so they're not, they don't have thousands of followers. So then when, when, when our, when we, the family member goes to make a piece of content and they see it constantly in their feed, that's the thing where I just feel it would be annoying potentially. But then of course, if the family member doesn't interact with your content that much, then they won't, they won't see it. Oh, hi, Anthony. That's a good comment, comment here. Let me reduce that down just a smidge. Professional mode gives you all the diagnostic tools. When you post, even boosted posts organically and your reach goes boom. However, you will have to know what you're doing and it's a lot of work. Ads and pages gets you quick. Ads and pages? Uh, ad, like paid, paid, paid ads? No, if you're getting crickets on paid ad placement, then something's wrong. It's not Facebook. It's the targeting, it's the offer, it's the ad type, it's the copy, the creative. Yeah, I, Chrissy, that's a really good point. So she's saying here, it makes me want to make another account. My personal Facebook is private. I know. I think there'll be a lot of folks who'll feel that same way. So, oh, wow. You'll, you'll never connect your Facebook to your Instagram. Yeah. Okay. And Nicole's saying, I also, sh you share other people's content in your profile. That's fine to do that. Create your own. You, oh, and you create, oh, you said you never, excuse me, got the wrong brand. You never share other people's content, but you always create your own. That's fine, Nicole. Facebook likes that. <laughs> right, Lori? <laughs> she tell my elderly aunties and uncles would be ringing me up to tell me to stop posting business stuff. Yeah, it's a fine balance, isn't it? I think that's when we, when, when I made the change and switched to, um, professional mode last year for like six months, I, I was very cognizant of like, and, and I mean, cognizant of not talking about business too much, but the, the, the truth of the matter, almost everything I post on my profile, I always keep in mind of like all the potential people that could see this. And I try to make it appropriate for, for friends and family and business. And then it's just a fine balance, right? Cause there's different places to post. There's your profile, there's your group, there's your page. Um, I think I have one more section here open for you to just jump over here real quick. This is a good one. And it is frequently asked questions about professional mode for personal profiles. So let me give you that one, friends. Just will pop it in the comments so it's there. All right, so I'm not going to go through every single one, but there's some in here that I had 
highlighted. I want to make it really crystal clear that you still have the 5,000 friend limit. Okay. Cause that's confusing to a lot of people. The thing is that the number up at the top of as we saw on Mike Stelzner's profile, it combines the friends. So like, let's say you had 4,000 friends and a thousand followers and you switched to professional mode, you will now see at the top, you know, this person has 6,000 followers. Six. No, I just said four and one, 5,000. <laughs> Come on brain, do the math. Um, and they say right there, the follower count in your profile reflects the total number of people who follow you, including your connected friends. By default, friends follow each other unless they've chosen to unfollow. So even if you had the 5,000 friends, not everybody will still be following you. And I think there was just one more thing in here. Yeah. See, there's the word. Remember I said earlier, currently, it's funny. They're talking about creator studio. Well, creator studio. What is the date on that? Let me remember creator studio. I think I still have it in my, or did I take it off? I think I took it off because I knew I wasn't going to be using it anymore. Facebook creator studio, facebook.com forward slash creator studio. Yeah. Just defaults. I'm getting pushed to meta business suite. Bye bye creator studio. It's gone. <laughs> well, they need to update this help section, but uh, currently, currently, We'll jump over creative studio. Currently meta business suite is not compatible with professional mode. So my eye caught that word currently. That's why I keep saying yet you can use professional dashboard to see insights about your content and audience, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and also you should know about turning it off. If you choose to, it's going to be under those same three dots. We just turn it off. If you want to, you're going to then uh, everything stays the same, all your content and all that. You'll just lose insights. You won't see insights. You won't see reach on your posts. Uh, this, I don't know about this friend. See this, you'll no longer be eligible for discovery opportunities. That tells me that they're putting, as I've said a few times now, they are putting content from people who have made the switch to professional mode. They're putting more of that into that discovery engine, right? That AI powered discovery engine, which about 20%, 20% of all content that you see in your newsfeed is from people that you don't follow people. You've never heard of people and pages. And again, this is something that TikTok really kind of didn't pioneer, but it was part of their real success in making the algorithms work and the feed and the for you page. And so, you know, Meta has come along with a very similar approach with the discovery engine and, uh, it's both Instagram and Facebook, about 20% of the content in the feed is suggested for you. And then again, they come back to, if you're eligible for monetization, you'll receive pending payouts or bonuses, but future bonuses will not be, will be, will be paused. Oh, that's interesting. Paused. So again, this is, I'm referring to, if you turn it off. I guess, you know, down the road, if you were like, Oh, I'm going to turn it back on. And there was money sitting there. owed you then I suppose, well, it says pending, pending, but yeah, you know what they're like, they'll do anything to avoid paying you. <laughs> anyway, my friends, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot to think about, isn't it? I don't know. I, I put a post in my social scoop group yesterday, uh, with a little video from my talk, my social media marketing world talk. I made it into a little GIF, but it was actually a little video. I mean, but it was an animated GIF of these little marionettes, little uh, puppets on a string. And, uh, I, I'm just saying it's time to take back control and come join our group. If you're not in already, and you, and you can read this post in here. It's one of the key messages in my SMMW presentation was we need to stop being meta marionettes. That's what I'm calling us <laughs> meta marionettes. It's time to date back control because it's like meta just keeps saying, it'll become a creator and be a creator, monetize your content, get professional mode on, monetize your content, you know, use the at everyone tag, create all these community chats, get your broadcast channel going, get meta verified. And it's like, wait, is that what I want? Is that work for me? Is this part of my strategy? 
And that's what I'm encouraging you all to do. Be strategic. Think like a super savvy, strategic marketer, chess player, I'm calling you. <laughs> Meta's agendas are always about them. Okay? So that's my little tips for you there. It's really what, what I had put into my social media marketing world talk last week, a big, big part of the message. So, all right, friends, phew, I think that that is all I wanted to cover. The bottom line in summary with professional mode is it's going to come down to a personal choice. I would absolutely refer back to the uh, link that I shared. It's talking about should you make the switch? It makes it really, really clear right? Even breaks it down and saying, here's the different use cases and you can kind of go back and forth and see. And, and as Austin Armstrong said, you know, you're in essence, potentially sacrificing your friends and family um, in favor of pushing out a boatload of reels and possible business content it can still be personal, but keep it in mind. Absolutely. You can still publish content to friends only. Um, oh, hey, Robin, Creator Studio app and desktop still working for you. Yeah, they're in the, they're in the midst of morphing it, morphing Creator Studio away um, and, and replacing it with, with Meta Business Suite. Uh, Stacy saying, one thing I'm finding is difficult is now that I'm a professional, well, people can't tag, oh, they can't tag you. People can't tag you. And is that what people were seeing that you can't, can your profile tag other people or is it just that it's just that people can't tag you? I'm hired to answer questions in three memberships and the members can't tag me. I don't know, Stacy. That's really frustrating. I imagine that that's got to be a bug because we can tag pages. It's not even that profiles are functioning like pages because we can definitely tag pages in a group. It just goes grayed out, right? If somebody's not a member of the group, it kind of grays out. I mean... Yeah, it just depends, Stacy. If you're really getting a lot of benefit, you feel like it's absolutely worth it for you to keep professional mode and then have at it. But if otherwise, if that being able to be tagged in groups is really, really critical, you might just consider switching back to classic for now. It's, I'm positive that's got to be a bug. Oh, did they stop? They stopped the stars? Who knows? I think they, they give you these monetization things and then they just turn them off for some random unknown reason that they don't share. Um, Pecky's asking, can we ask, can we act professionally on our personal profile and not change it to professional mode? Absolutely, 100%. Yes, of course you can. That's, that's what I've been doing for 16 years. <laughs> uh, well, professional mode's only been out for a year, but that's why, you know, if you look at my personal profile, vast majority of what I post, it's always very strategic. Yeah, even when I'm posting personal, I post personal. I'm not going to post anything super duper personal and private. Way back in the day when I first started out in 2007, 2007, 2008, and in all my different talks, I would say, you know what? We need to have three categories of what we share. Public goes to everybody. Um, Personal, I call it personal, goes to potentially to friends and family, right? And that's on your personal profile where you don't have the little globe icon. You're just sharing to friends and family. And then I make a third distinction called private. And to me, private never goes online. Never. So you have a private life. What goes on behind closed doors, what you don't feel comfortable sharing online, even in a closed forum, even in a personal friend list, because whatever, right? People can screenshot, they can take it out of context, whatever. So in that regard, I've always been very strategic. But yeah, Pecky, to answer your question, hands down, that's what I do. That's what I'm continuing to do. Uh, you can still, you can talk about your business on your personal profile, whether you're in classic or professional mode. Uh, some of the things I was just writing up a big comment in my, in my social scoop group. Let's see, so many tabs open here. Uh, let's see if we can find it for you right quick, because that was a good one. It was one of our members was asking about professional mode. Here it is. Um, this is a good one. 
So this person, Nicole, was talking about, let me just go like that, because mine is a private group, so I don't necessarily want to reveal anything that shouldn't be revealed. So there was a post made uh, about switching to professional pro, uh, professional mode, and, and Nicole here was highlighting this this one line in the terms of use, TOS, right? Terms of service. You will not use your personal timeline primarily for your own commercial gain and will use a Facebook page for such purposes. So those terms are still there, but I'm going to show you what this answer that I typed up for Nicole. There it goes. Um, I won't read all of this, but there's just been such misunderstandings over the years about this commercial gain. Commercial gain means we can't sell our personal cover, right, the cover image to a sponsor. You can't accept money for advertising uh, to your friends and followers. Uh, you, you can't use your profile directly for like buying and selling that should be in marketplace or for constantly selling products that should be in shop, right? But there's nothing, this is for Packy and everybody here, there's nothing stopping us ever from talking about our business, sharing posts about upcoming business events, offers, services, products, so long as it's not just nonstop, nothing but selling. Okay, so that's important to know. Uh, I think it's very helpful to just make that distinction and then you decide. The thing is you can always switch to professional mode and then just, like I say, turn it off and switch back if it's not for you, so. Yeah, I know, right, Alessandra? I'm always just, I'm super mindful. Even in text messages, I'm always just, you know, anything, anything could get screenshotted, shared, right? Yeah, private is private in any mode. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> uh, Robin, okay, yeah, I, I use the restricted on my personal page a lot for those who I need to have as friends, but don't really want them to see all posts marked as friends only. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good use case. I think not a lot of people realize that that's even an option. So very good. Okay, friends, well, hopefully I've cleared up some of the confusion and misunderstanding and just myths around what exactly is professional mode. Should you enable it? What happens when you enable it? Why does Meta want you to enable it? And, uh, you know, really, is it for you? And do you carry on having your page or not? And, and really, my advice is mm, dig in a little bit, look at some of those links I shared, look at the FAQs, read up on that, you know, should you turn it on? just keeping in mind as soon as you turn it on you can change your mind anytime and turn it off and that there's just no harm in keeping classic mode um, maybe there'll be some temporary benefits by turning it on but if you absolutely want to be like an Austin Armstrong and <laughs> you know, and do a boatload of reels and like Mike Stelzer's doing and there's plenty of other examples out there is to just you know have at it go for it I'm, I'm glad that it's uh, it's working for some folks out there. I, it's not going to be my strategy right now, um, if at all. So with that, much love to you all. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I got to go switch gears and get some other stuff done. So many blessings to you. Any questions, you let me know. Come on over and join our social scoop group, of course, if you're not already. We always love to have folks come on and join us there. I'll pop the link right there. And uh, have a blessed rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is in your part of the world. <laughs> Ciao for now. Bye-bye.